Hello darlings, I am Cassandra and today's Pick a Car video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to look at some unresolved drama, yes y'all, from your previous life that is affecting your ability to be happy in this lifetime. Thank you so much for watching. I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine, holding it to the count of nine, and releasing it to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. The time stamps for each butterfly color are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the red butterfly, this reading is for you. We're going to look at some past life drama that is affecting your ability to be happy in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And her message to you is... Oh, give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. This theme of forgiveness is in the universe, child. So basically, yeah, you were a twister. You made some mistakes. You hurt some people. And because you weren't able to forgive yourself, you have found yourself in a lot of situations that's requiring forgiveness and I just completed a video about forgiveness it says give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul forgive yourself meaning that something really did happen that you have no control over and that you need to forgive yourself because it's a this is affecting your ability to trust people and to be happy in this lifetime. So the reason that people have a hard time forgiving others is because usually they have a hard time forgiving themselves. So I want you to start thinking of yourself as a good person, as a loving person. Hmm. Yeah. In the last lifetime, you made some mistakes, but okay. That's over, right? We're in a whole new new cycle, new lifetime, new incarnation. The next card, oh, God, we got Jungle Beauty Goddess to me. Again, your soul is talking to you, child. You have Jungle Beauty Goddess to me, and she says, You were born with everything you need. Know this. Man. Oh, my goodness. You know, oh, Jesus. What is coming to my mind? is that you're thinking that if I had more money, if I had different parents, if my life was different, because in your, uh, but you came in this incarnation with everything you need to be successful. You don't need, like you did not come here to be, let's say president or a doctor and not have the intellect, the parents, the resources to make that dream come true. If you have a dream in your heart, your life should not have been any other way for that to happen, for that to come true. Does that make sense? Like, you know, Oprah Winfrey is extremely wealthy. She grew up really, really poor. But she was born with everything she needed. Does that, I can give you a billion examples of people 
who grew up in extreme poverty, who are now like these, who are mega rich, very successful because they always had what they needed. You, the life experiences, the people surrounding you, the people in your life, the, that is all content. That's your story you're gonna tell later. So you have everything you need. In your previous life, you were wealthy. And because you were wealthy, you, oh yes. In this life, oh my God, you were wealthy. So you, every, anything you wanted, you got it right away. In this life, you don't have the confidence you have from your previous life because you kind of feel like, well, where's, you know, I used to snap my fingers and anything I wanted, I would get it and everything I wanted, needed was available to me. And in this lifetime, the universe wants you to know that everything you need is still available to you, but they want you to rely on your inner strength, not on external circumstances. They want you to see that you are a mighty, mighty being, that you are very powerful, that your soul is able to create and draw whatever it needs. Whereas before, when you were being waited on by a lot of different people and everything came to you easily, you didn't you you didn't know how much that had weakened your soul, your your belief in yourself, because you everything was coming to you without you having to work for, without you having to um, even really you know provide any minimal participation in the manifestation of what you wanted. So in this lifetime, your spirit wants you to know that you are very powerful and you don't need other people around you or your parents or the wealthy in your family to give you everything you need. You already have that inside of you. They want you to believe in yourself. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is, oh my goodness, this card, I can't believe it's coming up. It says no regrets ever. So basically, what is the drama that happened in your previous lifetime that is blocking you? Oh my God. In this lifetime, is that what is coming to me is that you were very arrogant. You were very wealthy. Whatever you wanted it was provided for you. Um, but that was, a, you wanted to experience what that would feel like you're carrying some of that guilt into this lifetime and you're having a hard time manifesting your dreams because you were so used to everything being handed to you but the message to you is that you need to understand that that was um give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul forgive yourself forgive yourself for being a rich you know person who was rude to people like you didn't know any better and that's why in this lifetime you got to work a little bit harder you got to learn how to treat people you got to learn how to uh, manifest your dreams for yourself it's not going to just come to you like that but um yeah that's what's holding you back is that kind of think everything was easy for you and now you have to work for things a little bit harder and your soul you, you feel a little guilty because you you, you know there's this even we're multi-dimensional beings and there's this part of you that just really doesn't know how to function without the wealth of your family and the maids and the resources and you're, you're kind of lost so let go of the past when i say let go of the past of a previous lifetime you know people don't know if, if they had a billion dollars and everybody waiting on them you might all of us we might not be as nice and kind as we think we would be you know what i'm saying um understand that you know learning how to communicate um, and work it a little bit harder because the universe wants you to see that your power comes from within and not from without. Forgive yourself for that previous lifetime. Let it go. Things are not going to pop in your lap. Things are not going to just happen for you like that. You got to work for it, um, but you'll be good. But this is the message I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the white butterfly, this reading is for you. So we're going to look at the cards to see what unresolved drama from your 
previous life that is affecting your ability to be happy in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, living in the moment, our joy. Oh my goodness. She says, the past and the future does not exist. The present is all there is. I feel like I, just, I can just stop your reading right now, okay? So the past drama from, the, from your previous lifetime, they're telling you to, who cares? Be present in the moment. Child, when you are talking to someone, I really feel like the reason, like this is what's coming to me, that a lot of people are as happy as they could be it's because they're thinking about yesterday the week before the lifetime before things like those things but they're not fully present like if you're talking to someone like you shouldn't you know be on your phone or if you're watching this video and you're you know you're watching tv or you're scrolling or you're moving around you miss the full experience of life like to be fully 100% present it's like humans have kind of so when we're not a hundred percent present and because we're multi-dimensional beings it's almost like we experience a little bit of everything and it makes us feel nothing does that make sense so it, imagine when something is super concentrated you really taste it right it's like oh my god this is so juicy so delicious uh, this is so good because you're there but imagine you're eating and you're not thinking about the flavors of the food and you're thinking about oh my god I gotta pay that bill oh my god this happened at work yesterday imagine living a life where you completely immerse immerse yourself into the moment like I'm just only I'm only gonna think about how delicious this food is I'm only gonna think about how funny this TV show I'm only gonna watch this video and you know and, and that's it when you're fully present you bring all of your awareness to that moment and all of your previous lifetimes stop tagging and tugging on your consciousness I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but I hope it does is that you when you're feeling a little bit of everything you feel nothing because your your consciousness is too divided the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is talk less and love more again she's asking you to to tap into the moment so from a previous life oh man yeah talk less and love more so in your previous lifetime you your actions and your words were not in alignment you um, you would tell somebody I love you I love you I love you but you didn't come home from work I love you I love you I love you but your behavior was not indicative of a person who really was um, present you see so in your so even in your previous even in your previous lifetime it's almost like you were talking to t tell people what they needed to hear or wanted to hear but your mind was always someplace else and I have one more card for you and this is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai who represents our feeling, ability to feel joy or second chakra she says surprise yourself and do something you have never done before oh my god your hand is telling you oh, you got two Sinai who represents your second chakra which has to do with our ability to feel joy okay she says surprise yourself and do something you've never done before you're repeating the same mistakes from your last lifetime you're not being fully present you're not you're not tuned in a hundred percent and in your previous lifetime you were busy as well you were always talking trying to make sure everybody was happy um, people just you made people laugh but the truth is you felt empty because you were creating this environment based off of your persona but the truth is you were emotionally checked out 
And even right now in this lifetime, you have a hard time really like being a hundred percent present when somebody is talking to you at work or at home or in a you check out really easily and in your previous and that's a pattern that you're ex re-experiencing and the only way that you're going to break out of that pattern is to do something that you've never done before and be a hundred percent present like if you want to go to the amusement park get on the like they want you to like the next time you take a drink of water to appreciate that water and wonder where that water you know has come from what lake and thank that water for being in your life the next time you eat a burger to just really like be grateful for anything that you do from this point forward in order for you to regain pieces of yourself to regain the wholeness of your of your being is that you need to concentrate on this lifetime and not just give people lip service so that they'll leave you alone. Does that make sense? I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and we're going to look at some past life drama that is still affecting your ability to be happy in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and she said love is the only thing worth fighting for. So I'm taking that in your previous, oh my god, you are a warrior, you are a warrior, you yeah, you took a lot of land. You, you, I'm gonna see what your other cards are saying. But it says love is the only thing worth fighting for. So it seems like you were fighting for things that was not, I'm gonna say, you know, land, loot, ma materialistic things. But let's keep going. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby's message to you is unleash your confidence. Let me just do your last card because I have an image that has flashed before me. And the last card I have for you is from the matter, and the matter's message to you is, oh my God, by any means necessary, child, child, child. Let me tell you what happened to you in your previous lifetime that is affecting your ability to be happy in this lifetime. In your previous lifetime you were a warrior just like I said and you would take care of people by any means necessary when I, I mean like you were like super like a beast okay taking land resources and you wanted to be a better person in this lifetime and because of the previous mistakes or I'll just say the earth suit that you chose for your previous lifetime was one of aggression. In this lifetime, you are afraid to unleash your confidence because you are still that beast. You are still, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what's coming in to Cassandra, okay? You are afraid to unleash your confidence because people don't know who they messing with and mm, people don't know who they messing with when they mess with your child and they take your kindness as a weakness because you know you're trying to be this good person but what they don't know is that you would destroy them if you so chose to do so okay and you don't want to be that person anymore and because you are still dealing with being the vi fierce warrior that you were in your previous lifetime and you you know you try not to go back there you know you had a good time got a lot of loot took a lot of land by any means necessary you did what you had to do you were the one you understand me 
you look, you, you know, you count the bodies, you look back, you, went, you passed, you had your spiritual team with you, and they were like, you know, we're looking at about a good 2,000, okay? And that was only for just one more. You know, you were not the one. You were a fierce leader. So when you were working with your spiritual team, you say, hey, you know, I, I really don't want to be that person anymore. And um, so you incarnate in this lifetime. And now you find yourself in situations where you're really not assertive. You're not asking for the money you deserve. You're not speaking up it's like you should in your relationships with other people. You know what I mean? You're the person who is like, you know, you kind of go home and sleep at night thinking, dang it, I should have said this. You're afraid of the beast inside of you okay that beast from your last lifetime child by any means necessary she's still there and you try to like you know I'm, just, I'm trying to let you know let that part of me go but I'm gonna tell you something in order for you to be successful in this lifetime you're gonna need to maybe you don't need to slice and dice the whole community but you do need to stand up for yourself you do need to unleash your confidence in this lifetime and understand that you're probably not gonna go and you know you're not gonna you're not gonna do that anymore you're not gonna be that warrior you're not gonna hurt people but you are afraid because you know you're so powerful so I'm gonna tell you forgive yourself for that previous lifetime that was that was your earth suit that was your mission and you did it well and this lifetime you can't be a doormat you can't let people run over you you got to speak up for yourself it doesn't mean you have to cuss them out and you know put them in the trunk of your car we're not talking about that um, but we're saying that you need to stand up for yourself a little bit more now I'm gonna say a lot more assert yourself and um, merge don't be afraid that you are going to just go all out just because you are speaking up for yourself. Does that make sense? I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the blue butterfly, this reading is for you. So we're going to look at the cards to see what past life drama is affecting your ability to be happy in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from the matter, divine masculine father of the jungle beauty goddesses. And he says, you are all powerful. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Oh, let's see. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is, the magic is always in the moment. Wow. So, I know I have one more card for you, but I think what I'm picking up right now is that... The magic is always in the moment means that sometimes we think about, you know, like previous lifetimes or what's going to happen or what happened and we lose our power. Oh God, we lose our power. We lose our power when we splinter our beingness, when we splinter our consciousness. So let's just say, for example, and, and I, this is, seems to be a theme in these readings is that if you are not giving everything in the moment 100% of who you are, you lose your power. So let's just say right now you're, in a, you're on a date and you're thinking about the last guy who broke your heart, right? Well, once you start tapping into something that happened 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 2 weeks ago, you lose your power and you start recreating what happened to you from previous lifetimes, from previous moments, from previous situations. Oh my God. So basically, what happened in your previous lifetime 
is taking away your power in this current lifetime. And let me see what's going on with this card. So let's see if I have a more specific situation. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And she says, do what you love. Let me get this in focus. Do what you love and become who you are meant to be. Wow. So basically what I'm picking up, what is holding you back? In your previous lifetime, you did what your family wanted you to do. And you felt that if you didn't follow the, what is the word, it's called, the norms, of what, like, for example, what I'm picking up is like something like a woman who maybe um, you wanted to be a writer or you wanted to be, but people would say, you know, you're a woman, you're not supposed to write, you're not supposed to do this. And so you, you were miserable. You were, you were miserable because you did, you, you didn't want to, first of all, there were just so many rules. And we still have, live in a world today that where people say, oh, you can't do that. You're too short for that. You can't be a model. You can't you know, be a basketball player. What are you talking about? So we still have that. But in your previous lifetime, you did as you were told in terms of the norms of your society. And you, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. You were so sad. You were miserable. You you cried yourself to sleep. You were not a happy person because you were living for other people. And in this lifetime, you are still afraid to be what you really want to be. It says, do what you love and become who you are meant to be. So, oh my God. Listen, you do not have the restraints of your previous lifetime where women could not be writers or women could not go to school or that's what's coming to me. It's a strong message. You um, you were very sad because you could never assert yourself and you had to do as you were told, not just from your family, but from your society as well. And in this lifetime, you still feel like you can't do what you want to be I'm sorry you can't do what you want to do or be who you want to be because you're afraid that well I'm not smart enough to be a doctor or I'm not good enough to do this you still feel those um, the the um, what's the word I'm looking for the oppression you still feel the oppression from your previous lifetime of you know of the do's and don'ts and I'm and what I'm picking up is from being a woman who was very stressed out and now in this lifetime, you, this is why you procrastinate as well. You, this is why you procrastinate. This is why you don't finish a lot of things that you've started. Because there is this part of you that feels like, well, what is the point? Because it's not going to happen anyway. And I'm picking up that what I'm seeing is, I don't know, like it's a woman with like a, a white cloth and like a, on her head. And I'm not going to say it. You, you write your poems and you hide them because women are not supposed to write. And you were very, yeah, you were afraid of getting caught. If people knew that you were singing or writing, what I'm picking up is writing though. You, you know, you would get in trouble and you girls weren't supposed to go to school. It was considered like a waste of time. So you now, you are really afraid of doing what you're of living your dreams you're afraid that's why you procrastinate that's why you because you feel like yeah like they're gonna come for me they're gonna hurt me i'm gonna get in trouble if i assert my you would you would in your previous lifetime you wouldn't even dream of asserting yourself so in this lifetime the universe wants you to know that you are all powerful okay and the magic is always in the moment. So what they're telling you is that what happened in your previous lifetime, to let it go, to focus on this moment right now. Nobody is going to stop you from writing. Nobody's going to talk, stop you from singing or going to school. Um, the world is different now. 
okay? You know, you're not going to be forced to have 12 children and marry a man who's, you know, 30 years older than you. You can let that, you can let that go so you can move forward in this lifetime. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.